Ransomware attacks in 2021. Recently, ransomware has been a significant issue for many organizations, especially smaller ones that could not afford comprehensive security tools. In the last two years, ransomware attacks have drastically increased, and their impact on the organization has become bigger. Bitdefender reports that ransomware attacks increased by 485% in 2020. The cost of ransomware attacks has also massively increased. While the average cost of ransom per incident in 2018 was 4,300 US dollars, it almost doubled in 2020. Another concerning fact is that 20% of the ransomware victims are small and medium businesses, which can't afford costly security solutions and big security teams to mitigate the security risks. What types of companies have been hit by ransomware? On May 7, 2021, Colonial Pipeline, an American oil pipeline system that originates in Texas, suffered a ransomware cyber attack that impacted computerized equipment managing the pipeline. In response, Colonial Pipeline Company halted all the pipeline's operations to contain the attack. Colonial Pipeline paid the requested ransom of 75 bitcoins, or 4.4 million US dollars, within several hours after the attack. The hackers then sent Colonial Pipeline a software application to restore their network, but it operated very slowly. Ransomware attacks in healthcare are considered the biggest risk for society. A cyber attack on a clinic or hospital is literally a matter of life or death. One of the most significant threats of the past year for medical institutions came from ransomware attacks, cyber attacks in which cybercriminals encrypt data or extort management with threats to publish stolen data. The consequences of such attacks are manifold. In addition to the obvious and dangerous disruption to medical services, healthcare companies can face longer-term repercussions, ranging from regulatory fines to claims from patients whose personal data was violated. But why are ransomware attacks on the rise? The two main reasons for this unusually rapid increase according to cybersecurity specialists, are Cryptocurrencies Cryptocurrency networks open up the ability to exchange payment without an authoritative third party. With cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, cybercriminals can anonymously receive payments that are nearly impossible to track. Pandemic As companies quickly pivot to the cloud to enable remote work at scale, they often leave security gaps and opportunities for cyber attacks. Let's review how are ransomware attacks usually performed. Ransomware is a type of malware that can lock your computer and then demand a ransom for its release. Usually, ransomware infection occurs as follows. A malicious software gains access to the device. Depending on the type of ransomware attack, either the entire operating system or individual files get encrypted. Such an attack can destroy the targeted organization in terms of cash, disrupted operations, and reputation. While regular backups are an important measure to protect against the effects of ransomware, they are not a bulletproof solution, and additional measures are often required. Advanced ransomware attacks use sophisticated evasion techniques that help them to slip through the security radar undetected. Antivirus software is often lagging newly spawned ransomware, which leaves many organizations at risk. With the increased popularity of ransomware on PC platforms, ransomware targeting mobile operating systems has also proliferated. Mobile ransomware typically targets the Android platform, as it allows applications to be installed from third-party sources, so the payload can be typically distributed as a malicious file gets installed by an unsuspecting user. Overall, what is the possible impact of ransomware? Ransomware not only targets home users. Businesses can also become infected with ransomware, leading to negative consequences, including temporary or permanent loss of sensitive or proprietary information, disruption to regular operations, 
financial losses incurred to restore systems and files, and potential harm to an organization's reputation. Paying the ransom does not guarantee the encrypted files will be released. It only guarantees that the malicious actors receive the victim's money, and in some cases, their banking information. In addition, decrypting files does not mean the malware infection itself has been removed. How long does it take to get infected by ransomware? Depending on the speed of the computer, it can take from a few hours to few days for ransomware to completely encrypt all files. When it comes to critical infrastructure, healthcare, the financial sector, or the government, this event can occur critical to the whole society. And the recent colonial pipeline attack proves that. Why are ransomware attacks hard to trace? For several years now, ransomware groups have demanded payment in cryptocurrencies, which can be difficult, though not impossible, to trace. Ryan Olson, the vice president of Palo Alto Networks, says ransomware groups can be most at risk of being identified when they are moving money around inside the financial system, rather than when they are actually launching the attacks. That's where there's a lot of data that gets attached to an actual human with a name. And those suspicious transfers can really stand out. How to respond to a ransomware infection. If you have reasons to believe that your system has been infected with ransomware, here are the three steps you need to immediately take. The first step is to disconnect from all networks. Unplug Ethernet cables and disable Wi-Fi or any other network adapters. Put your device in airplane mode and make sure that your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices are turned off. This can aid in preventing the spread of ransomware to shared network resources such as file shares. The next step is to disconnect external devices. You should immediately disconnect USB drives, attached phones or cameras, external hard drives, or any other devices that could potentially become compromised. The last step is to report the incident to the security team. It is important that incidents are reported as soon as possible so that the security team can take measures to minimize the damage and cost of recovery. People often ask, who is behind ransomware attacks? Experts say there are two primary motivations behind ransomware attacks, political and financial. Encrypting ransomware returned to prominence in late 2013 with the propagation of CryptoLocker, using the Bitcoin digital currency platform to collect the ransom money. In December 2013, ZDNet estimated based on Bitcoin transaction information that between the 15th of October and the 18th of December, the operators of CryptoLocker had procured about 27 million US dollars from infected users. The CryptoLocker technique was widely copied in the months following, including by Crypto Defense. Can ransomware attacks be prevented or stopped? Ransomware protection requires people, tools, and processes. And they are scarce. Unfortunately, while there is a ransomware pandemic, there is no vaccine. There are only best practices you must follow and some tools that allow you to follow them more easily and with less human intensive tasks. Here are the top 10 anti-ransomware features. First is vulnerability scanning. That is the bare minimum your company should do. Many attacks are successful because they rely on unpatched infrastructure. A vulnerability scan can let the organization see and prioritize what requires patching. Second is password spraying and brute force detection correlation rules and the ability to apply them to remote access. It is important to know when those attempts happen and to automatically or semi-automatically block the source IP. If they can't try for long enough, they can't break in. Third is leaked credentials monitoring. Very often, employees reuse credentials. Leaked credentials on one seemingly irrelevant website can mean a compromised corporate account and therefore remote access for malicious actors. Fourth is phishing detection. Phishing emails are the number one entry for many hacks. 
An organization should have at least one way of detecting and blocking phishing. Fifth is threat intelligence. Ransomware works with several components whose identifiers can be shared among organizations through threat intelligence feeds. Seeing any of these known malicious indicators within the IT infrastructure is a sign of an ongoing ransomware attack that can help timely response. Sixth is suspicious process alerting. Ransomware executables spawn processes that you've never seen before in your IT ecosystem. Never seen before suspicious activity and processes alerting is useful to have, so you can react in a timely manner. Seventh is rootkit detection. Ransomware may use standard rootkits, which can be detected by a knowledgeable endpoint agent. IDA's file integrity monitoring. Monitor changes in files via an endpoint agent. Ninth is Windows File Audit Events Monitoring. If Windows File Auditing is enabled, you can spot a spike in activity during an ongoing ransomware attack. That may allow an organization to isolate the threat. The last, tenth security measure is Honeypot. Honeypots can be used to detect lateral movements. If ransomware tries to spread across the network, you may be able to catch it while it spreads, or if it lands on your honeypot as well. With Log Sentinel seen, you are alerted of all aspects of ransomware as soon as they try to infect a computer. You can then stop all attempts of the ransomware to get in and spread, and thus prevent any significant damage. With Log Sentinel on your side, you will be more resilient to threats like never before. If you would like to find out more, Click on the link in the description below and request a 30-minute demo where we will guide you through the anti-ransom features that LogSentinel offers.